Hi friends, today we see airport engineering. What is meant by airport engineering? It is a branch of civil engineering which deals with design, construction and maintenance of airport engineering. Today we see airport planning in which four points we see first one is air transport characteristics airport classification advantages and disadvantages of air transport and last is terminology and objective of air transport planning first one is air transport characteristic first character is unbroken journey air transport provides unbroken journey over land and sea it is the fastest and quickest means of transport next character is rapidity air transport had the highest speed among all the modes of transport next character is expensive air transport is the most expensive means of transport there is huge investment in purchasing aeroplanes and constructing of aerodromes and last character is special preparations air transport requires special preparations like wheelers links meteorological station flood lights search light etc next point is classification of airport first classification is based on the take off and landing of aeroplanes first type is conventional take off and landing airport in which the length of runway is greater than 1500 meter next type is reduced take off and landing airport in which the length of runway is 1000 to 1500 meter third type is short take off and landing airport in which runway length is from 500 meter to 1000 meter and last is vertical take off and landing airport in which operational area is 25 to 50 square meter next classification is based on aircraft approach speed in which the airport are classified in five different types a b c d and e these types are based on aircraft approach speed uh, in which first type a the approach speed is less than 91 knots like b c d and e the approach speed is as shown in as figure one knots is equal to 1.8 52 km per hour next classification of airport is based on the wheel load and tire pressure in which the airports are classified in seven types the first type in which the wheel load is 45000 kg and tire pressure is 8.5 kg per cm2 square type 2 airport in which the wheel load is 34000 kg and tire pressure is 7 kg per cm2 square like for 3 4 5 6 and 7 type the wheel load in kg and tire pressure in kilogram per centimeter square 
is as shown in table next classification is based on the basic runway length width of runway and maximum longitudinal grade in which also the airports are classified in five types like a b c d and e for a the basic runway length maximum is over 2100 meter and minimum is 2100 meter the width of runway pavement for a type is 45 meter and maximum longitudinal grade is 1.5% likewise for b c d and e type of airport the basic runway length and width of runway pavement maximum longitudinal grade is as shown in table next point is advantages of air transport and disadvantages of air transport first of all we see advantages of air transport first one is accessibility the air transport can reach the other wise in accessible areas with other modes of transport and such areas can therefore be economically developed with air transport only second advantage is continuous journey the aeroplanes can fly over both land and water they also do not require any artificial track is an case of railways and roadways thus it grants the facility of a continuous journey over long distances third advantage is demand for technical skills the manufacturer of aeroplanes and their maintenance as well as development design and construction of airports how open up new opportunities for highly technical manpower the air industry can therefore claim to the principal employ of highly skilled professional in the field next advantage is the air transport is used in emergency use the air services can be used for destroying the pests by aerial spray of the chemicals it is also extremely useful in case of floods for dropping food packets to the affected people and for observing the area to assess the gravity of situation next advantage is stage uh, is engineering use the air services is finding at present an in increasing engineering use in the preparation of maps by the aerial photography and last advantage is time saving it has resulted in tremendous saving in travel time because of high speeds of aeroplane now see disadvantages of air transport first disadvantage is flight rules there are certain rules which are framed by konkan authorities and these rules are to be strictly observed for the smooth working of air transport next is is operating expenses this mode of transport proves to be most expensive because heavy investments are required for the construction of aeroplanes airports repair shops meteorological station and special training is to be given to the pilots the number of passengers traveling by air 
as well as the quantity of cargo that can be accommodated is the smallest as compared to the means of transport and hence the fares are high next one is safety the accidents of aeroplanes are peculiar and alarming in nature it has led to the psychological fear among the passenger about the safety in air travel last disadvantage is weather condition this mode of transport can operate only under favorable climatic conditions for instance the landing and taking off operation of aircraft will be totally inconvenient during foggy days now we see airport terminology first is aerodrome any defined area on land or water including any buildings installation and equipment intended to be used for the arrival and departure of an aircraft is called as aerodrome next term is aeroplane it is a power driven heavier than air flying machine with fixed wings next is aircraft it may be lighter or heavier than air it includes gliders aeroplanes helicopters rockets etc air field it is an area which is used for landing and take off of an aircraft it may be or may not be provided with facilities for convenience of passengers and for shelters repair and servicing of aircraft next term is airport it is an aerodrome which is principally intended for the use of commercial services next one is airport capacity with the number of aircraft movement which an airport can process or handle within an hour a landing or take off operation is taken as one moment for calculating airport capacity next term is airport established elevation it is the elevation above sea level of the highest point of landing area next term is airship a power driven lighter than aircraft is known as airship next term is approach area or zone it is an area which indicates the wide area on either side of a particular runway up to a certain distance which is kept clean of any obstruction the center line of approach area coincide with that of the runway next term is approach surface a line rising at a particular slope from the runway and end represent the obstruction clearance line and the imaginary inclined plane containing this line and directly above the approach area next term is apron it indicates a defined area of the airport to accommodate uh, aircraft for loading and unloading of cargo and passengers parking refueling etc next term is approach area or zone it is an area which indicates 
द वाइड एरिया ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर रन वे अप टू अ सर्टन डिस्टेंसेस विच इज केप्ड क्लीन ऑफ एनी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन द सेंटर लाइन ऑफ एप्रोच एरिया को इनसाइड विद दैट ऑफ द रन वे नेक्स्ट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एयरपोर्ट प्लानिंग फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज अपडेट एयरक्राफ्ट एक्टिविटी फोरकास्ट ऑफ द एयरपोर्ट सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज रिफाइन द साइज एंड लेआउट ऑफ कमर्शियल सर्विसेज एंड जनरल एविएशन एरिया थर्ड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज डिटरमाइन द प्रिफेड डेवलपमेंट अल्टरनेटिव फॉर मीटिंग एयरफील्ड फैसिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड सेफ्टी एंड डिजाइन स्टैंडर्ड्स नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज प्रोवाइड अ प्लान फॉर इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ द फैसिलिटी टू एकोमोडेट इंक्रीज यूजेस एंड टू मीट करंट एयरपोर्ट डिजाइन स्टैंडर्ड्स नेक्स्ट वन इज आइडेंटिफाई ऑप्टिम लैंड साइड यूज which will enhance the economic benefit of the airport and that are compatible with air site development next objective is prepare a schedule of development projects and reasonable cost estimate by which to implement the improvements proposed here next objective is develop realistic phase development and maintenance plans for the airport next objective is provide an airport layout plan drawing set in accordance with current standards prepare an environmental overview for proposed development next objective is prepare a proposed comprehensive airport standards manual for the airport which is incorporate the necessary information and regulations for users of the airport thank you